Welcome to Master the Game. I am Juice, and it's that time of year again. That's right, guys. It is time for the Palladium Books Christmas Grab Bags. So let's get started. So here we are. We are going to be ordering a Palladium Books Christmas grab bag. It's the best value in tabletop RPGs, I swear. Uh, you're going to get over $100 worth of books and other things uh, for about $58. It used to be a little bit less, obviously, with, with things changing in the last few years and you know, it, inflation. Prices go up. Uh, so it's $58 this year, uh, plus shipping, uh, and you will get over $100 worth of product. In the years past, I've managed to pick up six, seven, eight books sometimes, um, been able to get uh, bookmarks, I've been able to get other little trinkets. Um, I picked up uh, really cool art from one of my favorite artists, Mike Muma, a few years back where uh, it's Santa Claus sitting in a chair holding a beer and the calendar behind him says December 26th. Really cool piece of art, um, one of my favorites. Uh, so again, really awesome stuff that you can pick up. So let's head on over there and check out what it looks like when you go to their site. So when you head over to their site, uh, you're going to go to the sale items on the left hand side there, and you're going to come to this page. Now I've already filled out what I want uh, and, and how to do this. But uh, before getting into that, uh, read through this very carefully. There's a lot of things here. Um, it, it tells you kind of how it works and things like that. Now, again, remember, shipping is going to be harder as you get closer to Christmas. There's a chance you might not get your product till after Christmas if you're trying to get it before Christmas. One of the cool things about this is if you're trying to get uh, some players into some games that you already have, you can ask for one of those books. You'll get it possibly, especially if it's at the top of your list. Uh, and then, you know, you can then share it with your group. Just make... Make mention that like, hey, there's this one book I really want to have for a specific reason and explain why. Uh, usually they're pretty good about doing that kind of thing. Um, make sure they have it in stock. If they don't have it in stock, they can't get it to you. Uh, so this started 23 years ago and has become an annual tradition. The Palladium Christmas Surprise Package is our way of saying thank you for your support and helping to make your Christmas a little more fun and special. We have thrilled fans with what they receive every single year, and this year will be no exception. Completely agree with this. Uh, a few years back in like 2014, 2015, 2014, uh, back when I used to run the One Shot Group, uh, got quite a few people into plating books. I want to say like four or five, six people probably were buying grab bags that year. If you end up purchasing a grab bag because of this video, let me know in the comments below because, again, I, I love hearing those stories. And let me know what you were seeking. Uh, I used to have a bunch of Palladium Fantasy books. I had the full collection uh, as of 2014, 2015. Um, I don't remember exactly what happened, but I don't have the full collection. In fact, I'm missing quite a few of those. I have moved about four times since then too, so I don't know if they got lost or what. But So $95 to $105, sometimes more, worth of Palladium Books products for only $55 plus shipping and handling. You are guaranteed to get an absolute minimum of $95 retail value in your surprise package. Now, to give you an idea, some of these books are $25, $30. Uh, their core books are not extremely expensive. It's black and white art. Um, you know, it's, it's very common for you to get, again, three, four, five books sometimes in these boxes. Um, so again, it's well worth it. You get some awesome, awesome settings and flavor in those books. And if you like Palladium books, this is the time to buy books from them. This is the premium time of the year to get, get your product. Uh, so yeah, you will get at least $95 retail value in your surprise package. Often you get $96 to $105 and sometimes more. Surrogate Santa Kevin likes to make gamers squeal with delay and often packs in $100 plus worth of goodies into many surprise packages. It's a surprise package because you never know exactly what you're going to get or who will sign your books. We try to include many of the items on your wish list, but we will surprise you with stuff you are not expecting. Things like a special Prince poster or issue of the Rifter or a Palladium RPG sourcebook, a one-of-a-kind negative or other items that we think you might enjoy. Plus, you can ask for unusual items like a signed photograph of Kevin, or Kevin and the staff, same as previous years, or Dragonhead sketch, 
or out of print books as suggested here, or special gold editions as suggested here. Art prints, notepad, pencils, mouse pads, and so on. All items are handpicked by Kevin from your wish list, all with autographs if you request them. For many of you, this is the only way to get autographs from Palladium staff, artists, and writers. It is our way of saying thank you to our loyal fans and delivering a little Christmas cheer we love putting smiles on the faces of some big kids. I, I do consider myself a big kid, so that's great. Uh, for you, it is a great way to get holiday presents for your gaming pals, fill holes in your collection, or try new games and settings, or to treat yourself. When can you order? Right now. Now till December 24th, 2021. Ordering sooner than later gives you ample time to avoid the holiday rush or to order more than one surprise package before this offer ends. We always try to make each grab bag surprise package truly special. Those of you who have ordered in the past know what to expect. If you've never ordered a surprise package before, give it a try early because you'll be blown away and probably want to order a few more. It happens all the time. Completely agree. Uh, if you have not done this and you think you would be into the Palladium book system or any of the books, even if you're just reading it for inspiration for your other game systems, uh, I would highly recommend checking out their fantasy line, even their riff stuff if you like more modern style games. Just for the setting stuff can be a lot of fun. Um, if you need uh, ideas or recommendations, feel free to message me and I'll happily guide you on that journey. Uh, orders received by Palladium after November 24th via the post office cannot be guaranteed to arrive before Christmas. So there you go. Uh, they basically say get it before a month out from Christmas. Uh, spread the word to gamers everywhere. Palladium Christmas surprise package is truly awesome and is only publicized by word of mouth and on Palladium's website and on the Master of the Game YouTube channel. <laughs> So please tell everyone you know, talk about it on social media, and buy one for yourself and one for every gamer you know. Have a joyful holiday season. Uh, it goes over the cost, uh, tells you if you live outside the U.S. to plan for possibly upwards of 30 or even more in shipping. Uh, other places might be paying 50 to $65 in shipping, again, outside of the U.S. So again, pay attention to what you're doing. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, inside of the U.S. might be upwards of $30. So yeah. Uh, stuff like that. I believe in here, I, uh, when I was looking at it earlier, it did say some of the hardcovers might be counted as $50 retail. So something to keep in mind. Um, each order is hand-picked by Kevin. Uh, please list 12 to 15 or more in stock items for each surprise package. Please do not list books you know are out of print or not yet available because you will not get them. Uh, hardcover editions will be limited for the surprise package will have a value of $50 rather than the normal retail price of $39.99 or $36.99. Gold and foil editions will carry a $60 value. Uh, only people who request a specific hardcover will be considered to receive one. Special items may include one-of-a-kind negatives, yada, yada, yada. You guys kind of get the, the gist here. So now I'm going to go over what I put in mine, and we will do an unboxing on this channel so you will see what I had requested, and what I got. Uh, and kind of how I like to fill these out. So right here, it says, what are your special wants? Wish list, please list 10 plus items here for each grab bag you order. Yes is not a sufficient answer. I put in uh, all the books I want, organized them in the order I want. Now, because I used to have Palladium Fantasy, I just and I don't now, pretty much, I have some of the books, I don't have all of them anymore. Uh, I decided to put in here the ones I don't have. So Palladium Fantasy hardcover, I used to have the soft cover. I want the hardcover. Uh, Garden of the Gods, which is a new book, never owned it before. Byzantium, never owned it. That's a newer book as well. Uh, used to have Dragons and Gods, used to have these, all these other ones right here. Um, Eastern Territory, Library of Blethrad, which is a great book. Uh, Northern Hinterlands, which is two books that I have one of them, I don't have the second. Uh, but they consolidated the first edition of Palladium Fantasy into one and made it one bigger book. Great book. Uh, my favorite areas in Palladium Fantasy are the Eastern Territory and the Northern Hinterlands. Those are my favorites uh, where I feel like I would want to run campaigns in. So uh, those are on here. Uh, Land of the Damned 1 and 2. Oh, and by the, since I never had Garden of the Gods in Byzantium, I put those at the top because I would really like to have those. So... Uh, yeah, anyways, Wolf and Empire, once again, is a really good book. That takes place in those northern hinterlands area. Uh, really good. 
Now, I've never owned After the Bomb. However, I do own TMNT and Other Strangeness. So I did put that on my list. Um, I did put the hardcover, uh, but I also want the rest. Uh, so the other books are Roadhogs, Mutants Down Under, Mutants of the Yucatan or Yucatan. I don't know how you say that. Mutants in Avalon and Mutants in Orbit. I put those on the list because I, again, I've never had those. I've just had TMNT and Other Strangeness since 1997. My book's a little bit torn up, but... Uh, I do uh, want to complete that line. I love Heroes Unlimited. It's my favorite. Um, it's my favorite game line by Palladium Books. And so having the rest of those SDC books, uh, including Fantasy, to me just rounds it all out. Um, so that would be kind of nice to have. Uh, I did put Rift's Chaos Earth hardcover because I don't have Chaos Earth. I've never owned Chaos Earth. Uh, now that they have the hardcover, uh, I would really like to own that. Juicer Uprising. Juicers are one of my favorite classes in, in Rifts, and I honestly think they're really OP, to be honest, and so I just want that book. Rifts Japan, uh, I just think that setting uh, sounds really interesting. It's one of the first, I think, Palladium Rifts books, and so I really want that. Uh, I'm a fan of how the Coalition is set up in Rifts, um, so I did put down the War Campaign and the Heroes of Humanity book. That one's a newer book, too. I think that's been within the last, like, six years that it was written, maybe five years, something like that. Uh, Rifts Atlantis, which they're currently doing the Savage Worlds Atlantis. I just, I just want it. Um, it's interesting to me. Dimension Book Wormwood and Rifts Madhaven. Madhaven is basically the New York area in ruins during Rifts Earth, so... Uh, some of the rifters I was interested in, um, 69, 73, 78, 80, 81, 83, and 84. And then uh, I wrote here, this is probably the order of what I would prefer, fingers crossed, right? Uh, t-shirt, I don't really want any t-shirts. There's a couple I kind of like, but uh, when it comes down to it, once I swap out some shirts in my closet, I can always go and purchase those myself, um, you know, if I end up wanting them. Favorite Palladium games, I put down Heroes Unlimited is my favorite, followed by Palladium Fantasy, and then Rifts. Uh, I'm not really that into, like, Beyond the Supernatural. I once owned Dead Rain. I think I traded it for something else. Um, I'm open to getting Dead Rain again uh, as the hardcover and stuff. But, um, yeah, I never played it, and, uh, yeah, I don't know. I just, it never was, like, one of those things where I was like, I need to get more Dead Rain. But if you like zombie games, check out Dead Rain. Uh, games I'd like to try, I put down Chaos Earth. Chances are I'll probably get it uh, because I put it in there, but um, honestly, it, that would be cool, right? Because uh, it is a nice-looking book. Uh, so then I did put in here that I have a YouTube channel. Here's my full collection of Palladium books. And so here I listed all of the ones that I currently have in my collection. So Rift's Ultimate, GM Guide, Dark Conversions, my, uh, Machinations of Doom, England, uh, and actually... England, Mushy Nations of Doom, Dark Conversion, all got in grab bags uh, a few years back. So, uh, really cool. All of these Palladium Fantasy books I, I pretty much got in grab bags before. So, Monsters and Animals, Mysteries of Magic, Mount Nimro, uh, the old one, Second Edition, and I think High Seas. So, only two of those I did not get uh, from there. I think the others I got on eBay or something. Uh, Heroes Unlimited. Got a few of these through a grab bag, but uh, Heroes Unlimited 2nd Edition GM's Guide. Got that through a grab bag. Compendium of Contemporary Weapons. Century Station. Uh, Gramercy Island. I did get from a grab bag. Mutants Underground. I got from a grab bag. Galaxy Guide. Aliens Unlimited. Villains Unlimited. Uh, Heroes Unlimited White Cover. Heroes Unlimited Blue Cover. TMNT and Other Strangeness. Uh, the Powers Unlimited 1 through 3, I, I got as a Christmas gift... Uh, from my wife, I believe, and she got them from a grab bag for me. Uh, Armageddon Unlimited, I believe I just purchased outright. It may have been a grab bag, but I think I purchased it. Uh, Mystic China, Ninjas and Super Spies, Night Bane, Rifts, Heroes of the Megaverse, which I got from a grab bag, and most of these Rifters I actually got from a grab bag. So those are all of the Palladium books I own. So let's, uh, let's place this order. I will add it to the basket. And uh, you can kind of see how it shows up for them. <laughs> so you can see it's $58. Obviously, it's going to have some shipping uh, handling of $3. But, you know, they add on, you know, shipping after that. So this is what I'm ordering. 
you guys should definitely go check it out. It's palladiumbooks.com. Click on their store button at the top. Uh, in fact, here, I will show you palladiumbooks.com. When you go there, this is their, their website. It's got that really cool animation there. Uh, you can either click here to get yours now. You could click on the store. Uh, any, any of that cool stuff, you know? So their, their stuff is really cool. Their website has some awesome things. If you, you want to check them out, you can check out the community of different things here. Um, I believe if you go to fan created content, uh, I think you'll actually find a video that I did about Savage Rifts. Um, you can get a lot of your questions answered here, the about section to see the different staff and things like that. Uh, the weekly updates, which I am going to be reading those in weekly live streams, uh, that I do on my channel. I'm going to start giving you guys the Palladium update because again, I love Palladium books and I would like to do more with Palladium books. So, uh, if you're a Palladium books fan, hit subscribe and you'll get to see that here. Um, I'm not sure if I'll do that as its own video as well. Uh, but I'm definitely going to cover it in my live live streams that I do occasionally. Um, and then if you need to reach out to them, you can contact them that way. So yeah, that's uh, all the cool stuff that uh, their website holds and the Christmas grab bag. So I highly recommend going and getting those. They have a ton, a ton of products that you can check out. And uh, again, I honestly think Palladium Books is pretty much the best value in gaming. Uh, I can't think of a lot of other games that you can get uh, that have so much depth to them for the price of Palladium books. So, uh, yeah, you don't get, like, all the pretty colorful pages in the books. You get black and white, but black and white art is actually really awesome. Um, you know, if you like superheroes, they got a superhero line that's really deep, got a ton of superpowers. Uh, with some finagling, you can make pretty much any hero you can think of um, they have a way to do it. If you have all the powers unlimited books and the core heroes unlimited book, you can make any hero you want. Uh, if you want to, you know, make recreations of heroes, you can do that as well. And even that fits into those categories. Uh, you might, in order to reach like the highest level of strength of some really popularly known superheroes, you might have to like break the rules a little for your games or suspend disbelief a little bit. Um, we've done that in my games and it doesn't hurt anything. Or if you want a guy who's as fast as the flash, you know, and can run so fast that, you know, he can change time or whatever, uh, or run back into the past or whatever, you can do that. <laughs> so you just need to stretch the rules a little bit or hand wave them a little bit, but for the most part, you can do it. And it's a lot of fun. Uh, if you want to see more playing books content, again, comment below and, uh, you can click on the links we have up here in the corner. Uh, where we have already talked about Palladium books, and we will continue to do so. We're going to bring more uh, Palladium fantasy content, Rifts, hopefully Rifts Chaos Earth down the line, and Heroes Unlimited, because Heroes Unlimited is my favorite game line. Again, if you want to hear more, subscribe. If this is your first time here, smash that subscribe button. Be sure to check out all the links in the description below, and we will see you guys next time. This was Master the Game. I am Juice. Game on.